दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन फ्रॉम जी एस पेपर थ्री ऑफ मेन्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन एग्जामिनेशन क्वेश्चन इज वट आर द प्रेजेंट चैलेंजेस बिफोर क्रॉप डिवर्सिफिकेशन हाउ डू इमर्जिंग टेक्नोलॉजीज प्रोवाइड एन अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर क्रॉप डिवर्सिफिकेशन आई स्टार्ट द आंसर विद वट इज क्रॉप डिवर्सिफिकेशन ऑल दो देर इज नो नीड टू राइट दिस मच डिटेल्ड मीनिंग ऑफ क्रॉप डिवर्सिफिकेशन इन एक्चुअल आंसर बट टू क्लैरिफाई द कंसेप्ट ऑफ क्रॉप डिवर्सिफिकेशन आई हैव गिवन मीनिंग ऑफ क्रॉप डिवर्सिफिकेशन इन डिटेल नेक्स्ट इज द प्रेजेंट चैलेंजेस बिफोर क्रॉप डिवर्सिफिकेशन मीन्स वट वट आर द मेन प्रॉब्लम इन स्विचिंग टू न्यू क्रॉप्स एंड द नेक्स्ट इज हाउ कैन इमर्जिंग टेक्नोलॉजीज और न्यू टेक्नोलॉजीज हेल्प इन क्रॉप डिवर्सिफिकेशन now let's see the answer crop diversification simply means growing different types of crops in an area but the extensive meaning of term crop diversification includes growing crops of different species or different varieties of the same crop in an area it includes polyculture that is growing two or more crops within the same field it includes agroforestry that is growing trees and crops together it includes growing fodder grass along with the food crops it also includes changing existing cropping system like new crops in existing cropping pattern that is adding new crops in conventional crop rotation cycle it also includes changing the traditional techniques of growing crops some scientists also include dairy fisheries poultry etc along with plant cultivation in crop uh, crop diversification next is present challenges before the crop diversification means what are the main problems in switching to new crops uh, first is dependence on monsoon indian agriculture is still heavily dependent on monsoons farmers prefer only those crops which are suitable to monsoon cycle it leaves them with little choice as very few crops are suitable as per monsoon cycle next is small and fragmented land holdings majority of farmers have small land holdings and that too are fragmented they cannot afford cost of modern technology required to grow some different crops next is lack of storage and marketing facility storage facility and marketing network is is lacking for many crops there is shortage of cold storage facility for perishable items like fruits and vegetables next is inadequate availability of low cost high yielding seeds of crops other than traditional crops uh, another factor is inadequate agro based or food processing industry next is lack of technical guidance to farmers by agriculture experts for growing non conventional crops next is most of the non conventional crops are easily affected by diseases and pests another factor is poor infrastructure like inadequate rural roads transport facility power supply irrigation facilities and communication network these also pose problem in growing transport and marketing of different types of crops another big factor is minimum spot price minimum spot price is restricted to few conventional crops like wheat paddy and sugarcane for most of fruits vegetables oil seeds there is no guarantee of msp now next is emerging technologies and opportunity for crop diversification that is how can the emerging technologies or new technologies help in crop diversification farmers face problem in selling new crops at good profit internet techno internet technology can help the farmers in selling their produce they can sell their produce through enam that is electronic national agriculture market they can directly sell their produce to retail companies like big basket rice fresh etc this will remove middlemen and give better price to the farmers better return will encourage the farmers to grow non conventional crops too after soil health diagnosis experts can tell the farmers what kind of crops can be grown in that soil or what should farmers do to make the soil suitable for growing some other kind of crops farmers should be educated about benefits of micro irrigation like sprinkler irrigation and drip irrigation these water efficient techniques can help to grow several kinds of crops techniques like hydroponics aeroponics vertical farming polybag nursery farming
can help to grow many kinds of crops which otherwise cannot be grown by traditional methods for example polybag nurse for example by polybag nursery farming strawberry and olives are being grown in arid areas of rajasthan through mobile apps and videos the agriculture experts can inform farmers about new researches and guide or train them for growing non traditional but high value crops by genetic engineering the scientists should develop high yielding drug resistant disease resistant varieties of new non conventional crops which can be easily grown in local climatic conditions farmers should be encouraged for crop diversification as it improves soil health reduces risk of crop failure increases profit of farmers generates more employment opportunities and helps to meet food and nutrition needs of the nation thank you